Hello and welcome to Explore Bio. In today's video, I will explain what are EST, Unigene, Transcript and differences among them. At last, I will also highlight how these are related to reads, contigues and scaffold that you have learned in my previous video. Its link is given in the description below. If you have watched my genome story video, I have explained that not all genes are expressed at all the times. Organisms turn on and off their genes in response to environmental and developmental cues. Expression of one or more genes provide critical biological information such as health status or disease. There are techniques such as microarray, transcriptome sequencing and others that provide information about the gene expression. So the three terms that I am going to discuss today represents the expressed part of the genome. The first is ESTs. ESTs or express sequence tags are short DNA sequences of usually less than 1000 bases long obtained by single pass sequencing of complementary DNA fragments. Single pass sequencing means it is unassembled sequence obtained in one go from a sequencing run. Which means ESTs represent RNA or express region of the genome at a given time in a given tissue of a specific stage. ESTs lack intron and may or may not code for proteins. Hundreds and thousands of ESTs are usually produced from a single sequencing run. DBEST is the database of GenBank in which such ESTs can be submitted and downloaded. But there are two major limitations of ESTs. First, they are short unassembled sequences and the sequence information of full length gene which are much longer is usually not obtained. Secondly, most of the ESTs are sequences representing similar regions of the gene which means they are redundant. Unigenes overcome the above limitations of ESTs. Unigene corresponds to a unique RNA or an isoform of a gene expressed. When ESTs are assembled to get a non-redundant or unique sequence, it may be referred to as unigene. In recent years, the use of term unigene is replaced by more common term transcript. Unigene is also a database of NCBI which comprises of non-redundant clusters of express sequences belonging to a unique gene. Coming on to transcript. A more common term used to define non-redundant and assembled express sequences is transcript. The short reads or ESTs are assembled to a longer non-repetitive sequences called as transcript. Transcript and its isoform reflect which gene is expressed in a particular biological sample. Now let's see how all these terms are related with reads, contigues and scaffold. ESTs are similar to the reads in the sense that they are short and sequenced in a single go. But the major difference is ESTs represents only expressed region of the genome. But reads may belong to the expressed or unexpressed region of the genome. Similarly, transcripts and contigues are similar in the sense that both are non-redundant and assembled from shorter sequence reads or ESTs. But the major difference is transcript always represents expressed part of genome, but contigue may represent expressed or non-expressed part of the genome. Scaffolds are chain contigues which represents much larger chromosomal DNA or its portion and may contain gaps. I hope after watching this video your doubts related to reads, contigues, scaffold, ESTs, transcripts and unigene would now be cleared. If you find the information useful, do like and share it to the needful. Do subscribe the channel to get notified about my latest uploads. You should check out my playlist on different topics for more interesting videos. Finally, thanks and see you in my next video.